Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video today, we will be speaking about Brazil visa and we'll speak about everything, how to apply, all the procedures and as always, we will start by the visa policy of the country of Brazil. After that, we will uh, discuss uh, together uh, how to apply and all the process and after that, we will discuss all the documents that you need to prepare to apply for the visa but before we start don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question please write it below in the comment section and i will respond to you back in 24 hours if we will discuss uh, and speak about the visa policy of the country of uh, brazil we will find that almost all the countries of uh, south america can enter Brazil with just the identity card but th some countries uh, will have visa exemption also all the countries of North America Mexico United States and Canada uh, Russia uh, all Schengen countries all European countries Turkey Morocco South Africa and Australia uh, also uh, Qatar and United Arab Emirates uh, Indonesia uh, Malaysia all those countries can have visa exemption when they are entering the country of Brazil but for African countries most of the Middle East and India Pakistan Iran and China they should obtain a visa to enter Brazil to apply for a visa for Brazil the first thing you need is how to fill the application form this is only uh, there is only one uh, official site for all the countries to fill the application form which is uh, formulario uh, and after that uh, mre.serpro.government.brazil so i will leave you this site in the comments and here you need to click on visa and by clicking on visa this page will appear in front of you so first let's read together all the guidelines first they are telling you that you can upload a digital copy of your photo signature and all the other documents to your application process also the completion of the application form is the first step in the application process but what will happen after that is after you submit your application uh, here online after you fill it online and submit it a receipt will be generated the receipt must be printed and signed by you and the original documents must be presented at the Brazilian consulate where your visa application will be processed within 180 days this is maximum but it's supposed to be of course less and it also depends on your uh, application so to start a new uh, application visa application i have to go down and click here to start a new application but also uh, there are also some guidelines here for uh, the completion of uh, the form and the same explanation here again ICAO standard photograph specification the standard photograph uh, specification and the terms and validity so I have to write the kabacha here U4 F capital W capital R S after that start new application and by clicking start new application this page appear in front of me where i have to enter my details there are six steps general data visa data, data visa data uh, documents uh, professional uh, data and here contacts and here biometrics data and scanned documents so let's start filling this application together given name family name so all the red stars are obligatory okay birth date click here I change the year okay this year for example for example say i will say single male do you have four more names no place of birth let's say i'm applying from india state province not required city new delhi for example do you have brazilian nationality no do you have uh 
ok Authoridad, uh, so the authorities, where do you have your passport? I'll say India. This is the authority. Yeah, they are writing it in, I don't know, in Portuguese, I don't know why. Uh, do you have other nationalities? No. Okay. Parents, mother name, I will say not informed, I don't want to add it. Father da data, not informed, but you have to fill it. Please fill all the informations. And data of legal representatives not informed. After that, I will click next. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I, I already finished that. Why is not done? Okay, then next. Okay, main purpose of your trip, tourism, additional objective, estimated date of arrival, let's choose that date, type of period, uh, okay, four, one month okay let's keep it for one month have you ever been to brazil i will say no uh exhibition of travel documents how the exhibition of draft of, of this document will be made in person okay i'm doing uh, this in person next after next the documents travel documents a type of travel document is supposed to add your uh, diplomatic passport, passport, just yes, passport. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should buy India, for example. Date of issuance, let's say that day. Date of expiry, let's say that date. Okay. Other documents, let's say unknown. I don't want to add in other documents. Next. Okay. Uh, profession and professional data profession and occupation okay those data are not really required but please fill all these data it's really good to fill all the data then I will click next uh, contact type of means of contact let's say email okay or even phone cell phone one two three four five six seven eight nine permanent address you can also add another mean of contact like email it's good to add your phone and your email permanent address okay india city address okay uh, you can also include other address if exist uh, contact in brazil i will say not informed i have no contact in brazil but you can add your hostel or your hotel your hotel contact after that click next oh address i thought i added is this address of correspondence okay next what should i do is this address for course i'll say yes okay Biometrics, data and scanned documents. For, you have to choose a photography, so click choose file. And choose a photograph. Uh, well, okay. Group, okay. Let's say this is a photograph. Okay. Uh, signature, I will choose file. Any file. I will say... This is my signature. Okay, group. You can upload your signature here. And also we have the scanned documents. So we have the photograph, the signature, and the scanned documents. All these documents, uh, you have all these documents to upload. And please try to provide as much documents as possible, like your passport, criminal record, uh, air ticket is important birth certificate is not really necessary but upload it criminal record uh entity letter identity card it's also good to upload it invitation letter if exist itinerary it's very good to upload it and also verbal note okay just upload the, as a, uh, the documents you have and then choose file text okay i'm uploading it and let's say I upload also the passport. 
choose file, passport, okay. And then you'll have to verify that all this information are true. Complete application. And by clicking complete application, this is your uh, code recovery of the application in case you want to recover this application you have to copy it and um, now I have to print delivery receipt okay this page is loading all right so this is the delivery receipt about that I have to print and take it uh, with me so now after okay after finishing and I have the recovery code I will keep it I printed the receipt over here that's where the photo will be uh, will, will exist I will uh, keep this I will print it I will sign it and I will attach it with all the documents here click here return to initial page and my application is done now my application is in uh, the system so now if we will check for example there are different criteria uh, depending in your country how to apply here for Egypt for example here for Pakistan and here for India for example if you are applying uh, from India you will have to email uh, the visa application okay and all the related scan documents by email to this email and with the following the subject the type of visa tourist visa the RER number the one that was generated your name and a valid mobile number and they will check all these uh, documents and you will receive an email with payment information to make the payment and you may need to make an interview by Skype or WhatsApp this is in case you're applying from India New Delhi if you're applying from Islamabad then you will have uh, to uh, take this receipt and after that to take also all the documents and to bring it by yourself to the consular section uh, of the embassy you can click contact us and here you will find the details this is the address in Islamabad where you have to go with all that documents and there is a telephone number you can contact them if you want to book an appointment and to check also any other details the same process will happen if you're applying from Egypt you have to upload the required documents and after that uh, uh, after you uh, uh, finish uh, all uh, the application process you have to come to the consular section of the embassy of Brazil in Cairo pay the visa fee and deliver your application by yourself I want to click home here because I want to see uh, the location of uh, of the embassy how to contact the embassy okay this is the location of the embassy Nile Tower City and this is also a phone number if you are from any other country you will have also to check uh, the embassy of Brazil in your uh, country to check the location to check the process and in most cases you will have to go by yourself to finish your application and in the next section I will be explaining to you all the required documents that you will need to prepare not only to apply for Brazil visa but to apply for any visa Speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa, the first document is your passport. Speaking about the passport, the passport must be original, the issue date must be not older than 10 years, with at least 6 months of remaining validity, and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. Number 2, you will need a photocopy of your passport. The passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face 
with white background and shows neutral expressions, no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons. Number four, you will need visa application forms. For the visa application form, it could be an online form filled online, printed, then signed. It could be also a PDF form filled on computer, printed, then signed. And also it could be a hand filled form printed, then filled, then signed. Its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video. Number five, you will need a proof of status. For the proof of status, it varies. If you are an employee or work in a company, you will need a letter from an employer or HR office or your sponsor stating designation, the date of employment, the salary, the period of stay, purpose of visit, and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned. The letter must have an original signature and a stamp. But if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company, you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.